Does the gentleman yield for a couple questions? The gentleman yield for a couple questions. Just a couple. He yes, yields. just a couple. Um, and I, I want to get to the text of the bill if we could. Uh, the first is it says that a, a school or a district can hire a chaplain. Does that mean that each campus would be limited to one? No, we, we dug into that, Representative Bernal, because I was, I was concerned about that a little bit. But from my understanding, that they would not be limited to a single chaplain. And, and uh, I wanted to make sure that the schools could have as many as they thought was necessary. And so my second question then would be, under your bill, is it possible that any campus could replace all of their counselors with just chaplains? Could you have, could you have campuses where the only support employee on site is a chaplain, but not a counselor or a social worker or a school psychologist or a family specialist? The, the way this bill is drafted and the intent of the bill is to allow the schools the option to have chaplains in place of or alongside the counselors. So just to be clear then, and I want to make this clear to the body that the answer then, and this is not a, a gotcha moment, but the answer then is yes, that the way that the bill is crafted, a school board could opt to have no counselors, no family specialists, no school psychologists, and replace them entirely with chaplains. Representative Bernal, I, I trust our schools to make the right decisions in those areas. Um, I don't think they would do that. And uh, I think we ought to trust our school boards and superintendents a little bit more than that to make the right and, decision here. And, and, and I, I, I believe that, that you believe that. And I have no doubt that the vast majority of districts would do that. But I guess my question is, theoretically, that is possible. It is possible that I a guess district... if the schools thought that that was a necessary thing, they could make that decision. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Speaker.